What is up, guys? My name is Poncho Moller. This is my co-host, Jason Acuna Weeman, and welcome to the Little Revolution podcast. <laughs> Today, our guest is uh, a skateboarder. He also is a, a comedy store regular. He's a kick-ass comic. That's kind of how I met him, through yeah. my, my friend Joel. Uh, uh, but also, I, I would love to welcome Chappelle Lacey to Yay. our show. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Yeah. I love doing the clapping. Oh yeah, yeah. No, the, we, we the always the clapping do the clap for pause introductions are yeah. underrated, you know. Golf clap. Yeah, golf, golf clap. clap. Yeah, golf give, clap. Give, give a good golf clap. <laughs> yeah, man. Welcome, Chappelle. Oh, thanks Thank for having me. I was excited to, uh, when y'all hit me up to come do this. Yeah, yeah. You, you're a busy man, though. I was like, it was hard to get uh, a hold of you. Yeah, I mean, I try not to be. Nah, I actually I like being busy. Yeah, I love it. Oh yeah, yeah. I go crazy if I'm not actually. How how long have you been a, a comedy store regular? Oh, that was like last April. Last last uh, April. April 2023. And and then like what yeah. like how how did you become that, dude? Like So it's kind of it's kind of interesting, you know, I it's like a tough process. It's not like an easy process. So when I when I moved to LA in 2018, I think my first time getting like when I got up at the store it was like my third week of living here. Okay. And it wasn't because I like signed up for the potluck. It's cuz uh I met the booker Right, but I didn't know the Booker was the Booker of the comedy store. Oh, right, because uh, or like the ta- he, he well he said when he, when I met him he said talent uh, coordinator and I was like oh right on and then I didn't know what that meant because we don't have that in Arizona <laughs> like in Arizona if you come up doing comedy like you just uh, you just get good with the managers of the club and they go hey you want to open for blah 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 that's coming to town or whatever that's usually how that happens okay. so what we part, don't have what part of Arizona are you from? I grew up in Mesa. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Mesa. Nice. Does Mesa have a skate park? Yeah, Reed yeah. Park. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Arizona has yeah. tons. Yeah, we got tons. We always we got go on, on tours. Uh, and, yeah, Tempe those. Park, Pecos. Like all, Chandler. All Chandler, yeah. Where yep. Deshaun came up. Deshaun, yeah. Yep, yep. Are you friends with Deshaun? Yeah, 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 yeah. That uh-huh. dude is so yeah. good. He's but like, we, didn't, we didn't meet until out, till out here. Okay. Yeah, but I always knew, I mean, growing up, you always knew about was him. Was he like that Deshaun was like he the legend of that area? Oh kind yeah, like yeah. He ran that park. Yeah, yeah. Right. He was the dude at that park. It was just, it was just always well known or whatever. But oh, oh. So anyways, so yeah, I, I moved out here, uh, and the the talent coordinator. He was dressed like he wore. He had a, like a jean jacket vest on, and had all these band <laughs> patches on it. And then I saw a Sonic Youth patch, and I was like, dude. I was like, I love Sonic Youth. I was like, Washing Machine is one of my favorite albums. He was like, Oh, for real? Like, he's, we just started geeking out. He goes, what, Who are you? I was like, Oh, my name is Chappelle Lacey. I'm a comedian. I just moved here, or whatever. And he goes, Oh, you know, my name is Adam Egan. I'm the talent coordinator for the comedy store or whatever. You know, and I was like, Hell yeah. I was like, Well, pleasure to meet you. Like, I didn't even know, or whatever. And then I ran into him like a few days later, and I was like, Dude, have you listened to blah, 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 all this stuff? And, you know, we were talking about Iggy Pop of the Stooges, and I was like, Oh, I got Raw Power tattooed on my. Uh, my collarbone here. Nice. He was like, what? For real? I was like, yeah. And then he goes, who are you? Where, where'd you say you're from? I was like, I'm from Arizona. <laughs> he goes, oh, dude, I, he, he actually used to be uh, the GM for Tempe Improv uh, for oh, years or whatever. That's got something in common. Yeah, right? so I was like, oh, wow. You know, but this it was before I had started comedy. And then I was like, oh, so do you know uh, Casey Courier? Casey Courier was the current GM of the Tempe Improv and, and, uh, at that time. And I was like, I just... I wonder. I was like, I wonder if they probably do know each other. And then and he goes, Oh, I love Casey. I was like, Oh, Casey's like my mentor, or whatever. And then he was like, Hey, uh, I don't have any spots this week. He goes, Why don't you come by on Monday, and and I'll throw you up, right? So yeah. So I go by. And that that, and that I, it's a potluck Monday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But it was for b- performing for him, right? And so I didn't. I still didn't understand what Hold the on. comedy store was. I got pizza being delivered here. It's, that's when you hear the truck backing up. Oh, do you? Really? Right, it's good. It's oh, good. That's here. That's here. <laughs> so, here. so then I, I, I still didn't. I, I didn't really understand what was going on. So, I, I, you know, I go up to, and you know, I was like, "Yo, what's up, Adam?" You know, I was like, "Dude, have you listened to?" And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." But he goes, "But you're about to go up." I was like, "Oh yeah, cool." Uh, he was like, "Do three minutes." Um, that light right there that tells you when you have a minute left, just just do your best, right? I go up, I do really good, right? And then I get off stage, and I was like, man, hey, thank you for that opportunity. And he was like getting ready to leave. He was like, no, come back. He was like, I, I, want you to come, I want you to come back and do more. Like, you know, take my info down or whatever. And so he would have me come in periodically and, like, do, and perform for him or whatever. And, uh, and then 
he started giving me development spots, which is like the next part. It was almost grooming you. Yeah, 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 yeah. In a non-sexual way, you yes, know? Yes. <laughs> but then, um, only on stage. Yeah, only on stage, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then he started giving me, the, the, put me in the development spot program where it's like, you know, you call in and give your availability and you do these five minute cold opens uh, for whatever show they have, they put the, you in on. In the main the, room or something? It, wherever, okay. wherever they and give you for Chappelle, the week. And like when, when this was happening for you, how long had you been doing stand up already? Shit. Well, uh, I don't think I was ten. I don't even. I wasn't even ten years in. Holy shit! Probably like six. Damn. What? Okay. Seven? Yeah. What got you into comedy? Like, why'd you one day say? Shit! Someone dared me. And oh really? Like, yeah. They like, said go up and like do at comedy. Like an open mic or at a, a no. show. What was that? I, oh, I was in Louisville, Kentucky. And I was and I was, and my friends used to do these acoustic nights at, at yeah. a bar. This dirty ass bar was called Duchess. Yeah, band acoustic, like acoustic band nights. Not not band, but like it was just two of them. You know, they would just go up yeah. and like play for the bar. That you know, the bar yep. would be like, hey, you guys want to come play from like eight to ten or whatever. And uh, one day they had called me up, and I was like really drunk. And they're like, come up and hang out with us. <laughs> and they and they were like, T- you know, tell us a story or something. And I was, I told a story how I wrote this love album for a girl, or whatever. And everybody was like laughing at it. Girl, you had a crush on. Girl, and I, me, but meanwhile, I was serious. <laughs> but everybody was laughing, right? <laughs> they were laughing because you're yeah. so serious about and then it. So, and then when I got off stage, uh, a few of my homies were like, "Yo, you should try. You should try to do stand-up comedy." And then I was just like, "I don't know nothing about that." But uh, but here's the thing about my friends. I was the kind of drunk that I was like, "Say I won't. Say I won't do it." Yeah. That was me, yeah. right? And so uh, then, there, then someone was like, you won't do it. And I was like, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, say I won't. So then, uh, yeah, I, I studied comedy for like two months straight before I even like touched the stage. Just watching like a bunch of like Watching a bunch Netflix of comedy. Or just well, spe- it was, this was way before. Okay, but before. Just, before Just Netflix. watching people's specials. Come yeah, on. I was just watching people's specials and, and like, you know, YouTube. You yeah. know, just YouTube and shit. And then Comedy Central would always... Uh, they would do this thing called Comedy Central Presents, mm-hmm. where they have like everybody's like thirty minute specials, like Dave Chappelle, Daniel mm. Tosh, Dane Cook. Like before, the, before they were like big, it was like yeah. crazy, like their yeah. starter yeah. specials, kind of like yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's the way you kind of did it back in the day. You would do like a thirty minute Comedy Central Presents, which was like a, a dope thing, and then you would. Uh, then you would get a special, you know, or whatever. Uh, if it was, like, well-received or whatever. But, yeah, I, I would just watch that shit and then just fucking, then just started writing. And then, I, you know, because the, the only comedy I knew, and I didn't know people could do comedy. I didn't know anybody could do comedy. Mm-hmm. So all I knew was, like, Eddie Murphy uh, and uh, I knew Eddie Murphy, uh, Raw and Delirious. And then I knew Dave Chappelle's Killing Them Softly. But I thought that was because... Because I knew them from movies mm. before I knew their comedy, right? So I didn't know. So I was like, "Oh, they, we could." I was like, "Only movie stars can do that." <laughs> That's why I thought like how comedy worked, not yeah. realizing like you sign up at an open mic, yeah. anybody, can and it's do crazy it. because anybody those dudes yes. were actual comedians before they were movie stars. Exactly. You know. Like, you know? But meanwhile, like I thought they were funny in, in their hold movies. On, the pizza, my pizza it. guy yeah, is still like, yeah. Pizza guy. What are you doing? Well. If you want it fresh and hot, man, yeah. you, gotta, you know? That, so. that, He's gone. What He's is good. it? That, uh, that little Caesars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trying to avoid the noise, dude. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Trying to avoid the noise. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much like how I got into it, though. That love album you mm-hmm. wrote. Let's yeah. go back to that. Yeah, what about what, it? You wrote a whole album? Uh, or you wrote a I, couple songs? I, uh, uh, I guess 10 songs is not an EP. Ten songs. <laughs> Ten songs is a full album. It's a full length. It's like some Taylor Swift shit. Yeah. Right there, man. Uh-huh. That's and, a love uh, album. And who's this young lady you wrote this man, for? Does this she know? How to, yeah. Who? I gave her the album. Wait. So you recorded? But I got it. But I got it back. You, so you recorded she an album. She laughed at me. Her and her friends laughed at me. Oh uh, damn! They were listening to it or whatever. But she ain't laughing now. Yeah, I was playing the guitar. Wow. Yeah. She's not laughing now. 
No. She's seen you on this podcast going, yeah. damn, I missed out. <laughs> no, she's doing good. We're actually cool. We're friends and shit. Did you use your name in the album? Did I use my name? No, hers. did you use hers? Like yeah. where, oh, you used her name. Yeah. So it wasn't like something where. Something like, I could switch you, up and give it to yeah. her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I would have done that. To the next love. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'll, hold maybe on. Maybe I'll re-record yeah. those. I'm going to re-record Yeah, like, like Taylor Swift did to name. her shit. How she re-recorded her. I'm going to do that. It's not oh. Angie anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's for Michelle. Yeah, yeah, Michelle. No. Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> so every time I say Angie, you just think of Michelle. Yeah, yeah. I know. And then he records it, but one just slips in. She goes, oh, it's here in one song. Yeah. And it said Michelle for a while, and then some Angie slipped in. Yeah, dog. Dog, I was such a, like, because I've always been like a lover boy. Yeah. I'm not, not even, I, I still am. You yeah. know what I mean? i just always been that guy. Like, I'm like, I'm trying to fall in love. Yeah, All my yeah. friends were like, bro, you got to like, get in and just like hook up and all this shit. And I was like, nah, dog, I want that fun fucking, that one. You're, that's all I want. You're a, ro- a romantic guy. Big time. Big time romance. Big time Very. romantic, bro. Oh, Valentine's Day is like your favorite day, dude. Oh, come dude. on. Let's King do of it. Valentine's yeah. Day, dude. Come on. Are you, do you have a love now? Valentine's Day is year round for me. Do you have a love now? Nah. No? Oh, man. Uh, why you bring, why you bring uh, up sad shit, Pacho? Uh, way, way, way to go. Way to go. You're the love Where's man. that pizza guy? Where's that pizza guy? Pizza guy? <laughs> <laughs> we brought you, we got you a pizza in the shape of a heart. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why, that's why I had to back up. <laughs> so big, yeah, it's right. huge. Yeah. <laughs> a big heart, dude. I got a big heart. Oh, All right. man. No, it is what, uh, no, I don't have, yeah, I'm not in a relationship now. I was, you know. Hmm. My first relationship wasn't even until I was 31. That's all right. Yeah, I'm 37 now. Do you okay, uh, do you still right? start? Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah. When, when did you start skating? Oh shit, that was, was that like before that was, comedy. Yeah, that was in elementary okay. school. Yeah, that was like, uh, and I was going hard at it. And then, um, what well, was your favorite company? Like, what boards did you? Oh, skate? Baker. Baker. Baker Toy Machine. Uh, are you Foundation, any friend, are you friends? Are you friends with shit? You know, yeah, like yeah, yeah that was Oh like, yeah, Toy Machine. Yeah, yeah. Of so like, Death dude, Wish. I was Death Wish. All that shit. Like, did I would watch. See, yeah. I would watch. Uh, like jump, I would watch jump off a building religiously. Mm. Uh, like I ran, I ran that VHS. Those, like those videos were hard, nuts, dog. Uh, uh, Trans uh, the reason, you mm. know what I mean? Like yeah. that was another one. Like Cairo Foster's uh, part in the reason. He's the reason why I listen to Built to Spill. You know, like did you ever uh, watch Ed any Templeton's of that? The reason why I like Sonic Youth. Oh, that. Really you know, nice. like because he, he skated to Sonic Youth, like. Uh, I mean, Alyssa Steamer skating to Janis Joplin. Did you ever you know, uh, all that shit? Did yeah. you ever watch it? Did you ever? Were you ever into any of the tilt mode videos? Tilt mode? No, no, no. I didn't get into tilt no. mode. No, you didn't care for that crap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, if you were in the tilt mode videos, then yeah, you were yeah, definitely yeah. into Morsi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, I, was like, <laughs> that was like all it was. It was like he's, good he's skating in Morsi. Morsi. He's too punk rock for yeah, Morsi, yeah. dude. He has raw power Tattoo across yeah. his collar, dude. Yeah. That's he your type of guy. He doesn't yeah. have every day's like Sunday. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. I know. He <laughs> he's a lover boy, but yeah, he's raw power. Rob, that raw power is where it's at. Yeah. And then I got Search and Destroy right here. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's two. Got, that's uh, two Iggy Pop songs. Uh huh. Yeah. That's two. Yeah. Uh, what else do I got? I got Dude, when like I first it. heard Iggy Pop's Search and Destroy. Yeah. That was like oh, in my was, blood for me, dude. Dude, that was it was a repeat. rap, a rap for me. Yeah, a rap it, for me. That that, you know, Iggy Pop, that that album, that Raw Power album is like, it's it. It's 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 just my blood. You know what I mean? Like that's what I, like I if there's something I connect close to, mm. you know, it, it's it's that album strongly, and also like, you know, anything Black Flag. Like, I got a nervous breakdown t- t- what? You know, across my yeah. My dude, stomach. those are my hometown pets. <laughs> Hermosa yeah, yeah. Beach, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the boys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I got the nervous, nervous breakdown break- right there. Bars logo right here. Uh, what else do I fucking got? Did any Descendant uh, songs on you? No, I don't got no Descendant songs. Because they're too- I, have, I, have a, I do have a Rancid tat Ran- right there. Love uh, Rancid. <laughs> I do have an Oasis tat. No way. Yeah, I love Oasis. Dude, you're committed, man. <laughs> you're all committed. <laughs> fucking yeah, I'm an Oasis tat right there. He's more committed than you. He yeah. is. Yeah. I, know. I don't have. I don't have any band. No tats. albums. No, no songs. Album, no songs. Do I have anything else? I'm a, I kind of want to yeah. get. I kind of want to get the Circle Jerk guy. Just oh, that's of Keith oh, Morris. classic. Yeah. Just because of Keith Morris. Classic. Yeah. Yeah, but all all that shit like, but you know, like all the all the music and stuff that I love, that, and you know, love is all through skate videos, man. Oh, you yeah. know, that's how nice. you know skate like. That, you know, skateboarding, 
is the, you know, one of the many cultures that I've been like a part of that is like so universal, like in like it expands you to so much. Cause like, especially like growing up, like, I don't know, like, you know, seeing Kareem Campbell skate yeah. and then mm. Chad Muska, mm -hmm. and then you got the stylings of Jim Greco and Andrew Reynolds and like, but everybody like, you know, in some for, for, form of way, like fucks with each other and shit like that. And just, you know, I remember Osiris the Storm, you know, that was another video that I saw that was just like, oh yeah, yeah, everyone's just, they are who they are, you know? And, and like, no one's like, it's so non-judgmental because like, you know, that was the thing for me, like, you know, being a kid. black kid growing up, like, you know, I'm from Arizona, so it's like, you know, and like, everyone thinks like, oh, you, you just grew up around white people, but like, I was like a lone wolf, right? Nice. Like, I wasn't like this guy that like, just like, oh, I'm in with this group or this group or this group, even though I'm, I'm not saying people didn't like me or whatever, but I just kind of rolled, you know, solo because I, everything I found, everything I discovered was because of what I was like looking for, because I was out searching for it. It wasn't because like, oh, you're hanging out with these white dudes, this is why you like this. That wasn't, mm. that had nothing to do with it. Like, I was also adopted into a white family in my teens, mm. and people were like, oh, that's how you got into the, to the music. I go, nah. I was like, I don't think, but first of all, don't give my adopted folks that credit. They listen to Christian rock, <laughs> <laughs> heavy. Heavy. Heavy Striper? Christian rock? Yeah. Striper? Not, not, not Striper, no. Nah. They're not Striper fans. Watching Lifetime, That's so Kirk funny. Cameron. That's so funny. <laughs> what, Have you heard Striper of Striper? Is Striper a Christian band? Dude, Dude it's they're, a heavy they're like metal heavy metal Christian band. Like 80s hair metal Christian band. Wow. They're like, they have they're solos like, that are like, God. Yeah. Yeah. yeah bro. And they, like, and they rip. I'm sure they do. Motley Crue meets Jesus. My wife is really Jesus. into Christian yeah. rock. Yeah, just like rock. that. Motley, Motley Crue meets, meets, meets Jesus. Jesus. Oh, so it's like glamour rock kind of. It, yeah, oh, they were is, glamour dudes. And, yeah, they, oh, yeah, and yeah. their logo was like like yeah, the glam like, rock pants, uh -huh. but black and yellow. Yeah, and wow. they all had the, the hair. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah, it was full. Like they could have been on the Sunset Strip. Motley yeah, oh, days. back in the day, like when all those bands were like Van Halen and stuff yep. like that, they, they look like that. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. But... With Jesus. But with Jesus. You know what I mean? You yeah. never heard of Striper? So, like, so everyone's drinking beer, they're drinking holy water. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> they spit out that holy water to the crowd. <laughs> In a comedic way, I feel like you are the bizarro world Steve Martin. Yo, yeah, oh, from the jerk? From the jerk. Yeah, yeah, dude. yeah. It, and it fit perfectly. Yeah. I was like, no way. <laughs> what's the, what's the <laughs> like, Mama, I'm white or something like that. Or not, <laughs> yeah. I'm not black. Like, I'm not black. I'm not black. I'm yeah. not black. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so the adopted family that you were that, that took you in, did, did they, they have kids as well? Or did yeah, they yeah, adopt other kids? Yeah, I got three kids? sisters. Okay. No, nah, yeah, I got, uh, they have the kids, three kids okay. of their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Like, my story is wild, right? Because <laughs> you're going to have more questions. So bring I was a competitive it. cheerleader, right? Mm. I did competitive cheer for like 12 years. Wait, stop the raw power bus. <laughs> that, stop the raw bus. The lover boy over here fucking got into the right, <laughs> right <laughs> spot with competitive cheerleading. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Are we talking about the ones yeah. where they on TV? Yeah, yeah. like 40 in yeah, the Yeah, I was the on, group, I've been on and ESPN doing, and shit like that. This, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a world champ. Yeah, for we what? beat we beat other countries and shit. For what what school were you? So what? So so the, the there's competitive and yeah. then there's school. Okay. So competitive is like a uh, national. You, would, you were national. Yeah, like what you would call like uh, like club soccer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, like they, they don't do it for their school or like uh what's the the thing with football? Uh, pop is it Pop Warner? Pop yeah, Warner. Pop, yeah, 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 yeah. So it was like club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, like that. A Y S O, like A Y S O soccer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Exactly. You know, so there's like a yeah, like a the, the organization that puts on these competitions. What, and what's basically it called? You just, you just compete. What, what's the organization called? Oh, so the, the so the big brand of the company for cheerleading is called Varsity, okay. and they run all these competitions and across the country, stuff like that. And so they have a bunch of nationals. Then they, and then uh, then uh, the big one is the Worlds, mm -hmm. uh, which is in Disney uh, at Disney World in Florida or whatever oh, wow. at the uh, the ESPN like sports. Did Epcot? Or did you, yeah, Epcot, Epcot yeah, yeah. Did uh -huh. your your team make it to uh, Disney World? <laughs> that's, that's a cute question. That's a, wow! <laughs> well, that where's, my, where's, that my, where's my ring at? Where's that's my? That's a cute uh, question. I like that. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, that's we sweet. did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Were you? Question. 
were you one of the guys that, I mean, did you do the dance routine and stuff? Yeah, I but did everything. Th- I did all the flips. Oh, so you, you did could do backflips on yeah, the Yeah, so like my thing, like I taught myself how to do backflips when I was like five, yo. Mm, I started nice. doing flips at like five because uh, I'm a real big geek for martial art films, like those old, like the old school ones. Mm. Like Bruce Lee and all Bruce that? Bruce Lee, all that shit, like the old, like the... The Wu Tang, yeah. you know, movies, yeah. you know, like that. Yeah. Even older, Jackie yeah. Chan's uh, Dragon Fist and shit like that, like Drunken, Drunken Monk, yeah, Drunken, uh, Drunken, Monkey, Drunken Master, that, Drunken Master, yeah, yep, all that stuff. So, and then obviously like Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers. But I would see them doing all these flips and shit, and I was like, well, I can't do all the kung fu shit. But I was like, maybe I can learn that flip shit. And so when I was younger, I just started flipping off benches, mm. like park benches, like I, in the park, like you know, just being fearless, you know, just like just look, 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 you know, just flipping. And then eventually I was like, all right, I'm gonna take it to the ground and just like do that shit. And then for I don't know, what I don't even know how or whatever, I just got good at it, yeah. right? And so when I was like 15, uh, this girl I had a crush on. Love uh, boy. Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> not, not the one you wrote the song or the No, 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 she didn't get the song. <laughs> That's a different girl. But no, uh, I had a crush on this girl and uh, one day we were like in this field, you know, she, uh, we're all hanging out, a bunch of us. And uh, she started doing flips, and I was like, oh, I know how to do that. And she was like, no, you don't. I was like, yeah, I do. And so I, I showed her, and then she was like, you want to join cheer? And I was like, yeah. No, nope. so it, that's, that's how, how it happened. That's how I got Girl you had a crush on. Yeah. What did your skater buddies think of that? Were they like, You know what's on, so dude. funny? Cheerleading is something I've never been picked on for. Because everyone was like, this guy, like, they thought it was crazy. Because they were like, yo, he does these flips in the air so high, and then he'll... Like, after he lands his flip, he'll just go throw this girl up, catch her with one arm, then bring it down, then, like, do all this stuff. Like Hold people, her up by her feet. And yeah, shit. just like, like, a, like a one, one arm. Like, like, you know, just like with one fucking arm. And, and, and people were so amazed by it that it was hard for them to make fun of it. It's pretty I think impressive. If I, I think if I sucked. Yeah. I think if I suck, then they probably would have made fun of me. It's pretty impressive to watch when it's good. You're yeah, like, Jesus. Are like, you get, are you gonna tease this guy right here, Chappelle? No, I've, that's no, like I'm, a linebacker. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm he's saying, cheerleader on the side, but if the coach called him in, he I'm just could saying, be a linebacker. Yeah, I'm, I'm just like, saying, coach, bros, I got y'all. bros can be ruthless. Yeah. No matter yeah. how big you are, yeah, yeah, yeah. No your, if you're your bros, are like, come on, bro. But like, you but know, then you're hanging out but, with the hottest dude, chicks. But like, here's the thing: there, there would be people from my my high school that would. They would go, hey, when's your competition? Mm. And they would, they would literally show up. No way. Yeah, people from my school That's would literally show up right there. to the competitions to see me do that shit. They'd be there like fans. That's how Dang. crazy it was. Yeah. And then I just got really good at it. Why'd you? So this was back in Arizona still. Yeah. Did you and then stop? I, went to, I went to college for it and all that stuff. No yeah. way. I got a full ride scholarship. Yeah, to one college. Yeah. And so is that so that's something you can't continue now or are you still Yeah, no, I don't want to do that no more. No, 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 no. That's shit tiring, you could bro. Cheer and do oh. com- comedy. Yeah. yeah. You know what's you know what's crazy though with cheerleading? I don't think I could like do the things that I used to do ever again. But there's a lot of things in like skateboarding that I could still do. Okay. Like physically you're talking about like Yeah, like physically, older, like okay. if I had a, if if they're like, hey, get in this route, I, I don't think I can fucking yeah. do it. There's no, and I was like, and it's so crazy because I was so good at it. Yeah. You know, really, really good at it. But I just don't think I could like, you what, know. What's the best trick you've ever done? Like the Skateboarding? Mo- yeah, skateboarding. My Your favorite? Fa- that you landed. Oh, my favorite front side flips. Front side flips. All day. You do good front I love, side flips. I love, I love, do, I love front side flips all day. Do you do them Tom Penny style or Reynolds? Chat? Oh, you do them yeah. Reynolds style. Yeah. Yeah. He catches yeah, yeah, yeah. them 90 and floats then turns, it out. Yep. And then uh-huh. Floats nice. it out. Yep. That's my favorite way. So, yeah, because I, I would watch his all the time. Reynolds is the best. Yeah, like, Reynolds got the best front side flips yep. in the game, yo. He does. I love his front I'm side flips. I'm glad you do them like him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. that's the way I like it. Like, I like to let it float. Yep. You know what I mean? Catch it, flip it, catch it. Turn and, it. and it that uh, that actually was easier for me because I do have so much like explosive power. Yeah, you know what I mean. And that's just like, from, like, because you have to have that with doing flips too. Yeah, yep. yeah. And like with throwing a human above your head, like you. Yeah. Everything's got to be explosive. So those front side flips made more sense for me because of all the explosion that I had. I just. Yeah. You know, it, it was like, oh, okay, you could do it that way, and like, you know, boom. Like, yeah, I saw, I saw a video of you at the improv where you you did stand up, then you're like, you guys want to see me? You don't believe me? You want to see me do a flip? Oh, and yeah. then you did a flip, and what was crazy is you're a bigger dude. Yeah, I'm like, and 60, when he did 70. a flip, like he 
Like he the sprung room. up so high. <laughs> like yeah. and you let it like it was you could have easily done a double flip, it looked yeah, like, because yeah, yeah. he went so high. And I was just like thinking, man, like he's got some spring in his knees. Yeah, man. yeah. Like, so I, and I don't yeah, I just fucking I don't know. It, it, it's because I watch things so much. Like I just like when I joined your yeah, I already know knew how to do like a lot of flips, but I was like, if I want to get better at it, I gotta like get technical with it because I was, I was self-taught. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I got to like, so I'd watch these videos all the time. Same way I would watch uh, skate, videos. skate videos. Yeah. You know, like watching Andrew Reynolds do his front side yeah, flips. Yeah, just keep rewinding. rewinding. Yeah, just You're keep like rewinding, rewinding that. And shit. I was just like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Now, and then boom. Now being the lover boy that you claim to be. Yeah. I should get that what? tatted next, huh? Lover yeah, boy. Yeah. That, yeah. Should lover I get boy. boys don't cry or something? <laughs> <laughs> Now you're going to the cure. Yeah, no, now yeah, now yeah, you're yeah, going yeah, to grow your hair out and get crazy. Yeah, yeah, I know. Crazy. Just like, <laughs> I'm all crazy. Being the lover boy and going into like this world where there's just like girls. Yeah. Very flexible girls, really pretty girls. Yeah. That, like kind of, was that ever tempting or did you keep it professional? You know, I kept it so professional because like I started to see women in a different way, mm. you know, and because there, there was times I was the only dude on the team, right? And th these girls, they treated me with so such kindness and respect that I was like, oh, I, I can never disrespect these girls yeah. and like, mm. you know, like Definitely. invade invade their like space. Private. Yeah, because yeah. like they would invite me to like like the team sleepovers and like I'd be at the <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like <laughs> you you're the like, only dude, only dude. I'm wow. telling you, but like their parents like trusted me and all this stuff, and you know, they, the because the girls like yeah. all the girls really really loved me. And uh, and it was just like sweet, and it, it, and I didn't want to break the. I'm the kind of guy like I I don't want to make people feel uncomfortable or like break someone's trust or like you know put people in awkward situations and like you know like I don't know. I, it's just that guy, you know. You were the protector too. You were oh actually yeah, hell the protector. yeah, hell yeah. They had him at the sleepover too to protect him from guys breaking in. And yeah, going, oh, all yeah. the cheerleaders are staying here tonight. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, and they're like, oh buddy. yeah, but uh, she yeah, felt like, yeah, yeah, there nobody. Fuck that. <laughs> but she felt no, staying there too, <laughs> yeah. just to let you know. <laughs> and also, and here's another thing too. I got to know these girls so well that some of the pretty ones, I was like, I don't like you. <laughs> mm, wow. As a person, as a person. Yeah. You got to see like the true colors. It's like yeah. when you as a person, I wish I could just fucking trip you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you're dating someone, you're like, ah, damn, I love you, and then you guys move in together. You're like, fuck this. Yeah, like, this is who you are. Her underwear is everywhere. She doesn't yeah. do, like you know. It doesn't clean up. I know some of my homies are like, man, what about this girl? You you wouldn't with uh, with her? I go, all right, go for it. Go for it. Go ahead. Hang out with her. She, for yeah, a hang out bit. with her. Yeah, she's gonna break your fucking heart. <laughs> I swear to God, she's gonna break your heart. <laughs> and then she's gonna laugh about she's it. She's gonna laugh about with, it. I'm with, telling with you. her friends. I'm telling at you. At the go sleepover. Go yeah, go in ahead. front of Chappelle. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. So you got all that. You flew out. What made you come out to LA? Like, cause you had I just things got, go. I got, you I got bored doing comedy in AZ. Oh, I bet it could get real. So it was right for there. comedy. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah for sure. You know, I just got, yeah, I got bored doing comedy out there, you know, even though like it, you know, like that's, you know, I give all the love and respect to being a Arizona comedian. Because where was, where was your home? Uh, the home club was like Tippy Improv and Stand Up Live. Okay. Uh, those, like the, those clubs were like my, the clubs I would do the most. Do they ever invite you back out? Oh, hell yeah. They yeah. Do? Yeah. Awesome. I was, at, I did Tempe Improv. Like that, September or something like that. That could probably be like a place you film your special, just because. Yeah, it's potentially. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. You know. Nice. Yeah, a lot, a lot of potential there. And I feel like you're a dude that's got a, like that. You challenge yourself your your whole life. Hell so yeah, it's like dog. you just kind of got. You're like, I need to go somewhere. Yeah, like else, I said, you like know? like I said, I was like a lone wolf. Like, I grew up not to get all like weird and emo because I make jokes about it, but like you know, I grew up with an abusive stepfather, and me me and him were homies. You know, we're cool now and shit. But like, I grew up with an abusive stepfather. You know, I grew up with, you know, this basically, you know, everything, everything I did, he didn't fucking like, you know what I mean? And it wasn't like I was rebelling against him. It's just like, bro, nothing I'm doing is like wrong. Yeah. You know, like he, he, he thought it was like, he hated the, like he, he would break my skateboards. He, he dude, there was one time. <laughs> he focused like your board? Why? Yeah. He focused your board? Yeah, but, which is, which is so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. Cause I was like, bitch, I'll get a new one. <laughs> you I, got friends. Friends. I got, I got friends. friends. I got friends. <laughs> yeah. I still got the trucks. <laughs> Try to break that truck, homie. Uh, yeah. It, was, it never scared me when he broke a board. I'm like, oh, you got my board. Like I can't get another one. Yeah. But anyways, so, 
uh, there's this one, he hated the way I dress. And I used to dress like, uh, oh, I dressed like this. Yeah. Right? Uh, and I look, because I loved Ed, Ed Templeton's. Uh, style where his like his dickies were kind of high watered or whatever, yep. and so I, I love that style. And so I would, I would just rock you know tight dickies, you know high waters Americas and and shit like that. And so uh, my stepfather he made my brother like he gave my brother money. He made us walk to the mall, right? Which it was it wasn't too far of a walk. He made us yeah. walk to the mall, and he made him, he made my brother take me in the Foot Locker, buy basketball shoes. Uh, I had to buy like like these whack ass fucking jean shorts that were like baggy. Oh, oh dude. Worse, dude, it was They're horrible. The worst. So you then, look like a you look like a dad. Exactly. Jean so, shorts remind me of a dad. No, jean and I'm shorts telling you, and like sketches. You, and like, so, old dad. So old dad. then dude, I go I remember I went to school the next day because I was I got made fun of for being the black dude that was going to like you know shows and yeah for your music you know, choices, for music and, choices yeah. and skating and, st- and stuff is like that. Is that from uh, other black dudes or from white everybody? Too? Everybody. Everybody. Okay. Everybody. Because it just wasn't because like everyone was like what you were this way or you were this way, and I was just like well I like the world mm-hmm. you know what I mean. You're open minded. Yeah, I was just like fuck fuck all that, and so but I never like I you weren't going to get me to fold. Like here's the thing about me I don't give up on the things that I like. Yeah. You know, like you're not Good gonna make you. me fucking fold. Good for you. You know, like that that doesn't that means shit to me. Yeah. And uh so yeah, I go to school and everyone was like, Oh, we don't like this. This is not so? and then so so and so then they, they, they realized I've always been who I was. So maybe it was a little cool little thing that there was maybe a little bit of a blessing in disguise that my stepfather did that or whatever. Cause then people really saw like, Oh, this is oh, this ain't you. You're the guy that, you know, we <laughs> Bring that guy back. You yeah. know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. So like, it, it, and I started having this like acceptance, you know, from people because they were like, "Oh, this, this, you are that guy," and, yeah. and that's just who he is. And being know? like the the kind of like the protector of like your team, like the cheerleaders and stuff. Were you the same way with your sisters? Oh yeah, hell yeah, yeah, very yeah. protective. Yeah, I've always been very protective. I've always been the kind of guy like I wasn't a bully, but I was down to like fight the bullies yeah. all the time. All the time. Me and you would have been yeah. homies back in the day. All the fucking Growing time. Growing up in high school, I've been like, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Dude, all the time, man. That was like, <laughs> I lived for that shit. Because I just, because you know what it was? Because my, my stepfather was such a bully. Mm. So when I saw other people getting it, I would fucking go irate. Mm. I remember one time, I remember one time, uh, this, uh, this, oh, this is, I, when I got adopted to the white family, I went to like a, 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 a all white school, you know, strong white rich school. And um, I remember I was I was in this PE class, and uh, there was this kid he's, who skated. He was a little bit younger than me. He was a little guy. And we and we would skate together and shit like that. That's and, little guy or just little guy? Uh, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> just <laughs> not y'all, little guy. <laughs> so he, not he, he, he had found these. He found these shoes in the pe- in, in in the locker room, right? They were just kind of sitting out, and then he had, he had took them. They'd been sitting out for days, so he's like, "Oh, I guess they're nobody, so I'm gonna just take them, right?" Then one day, we're you know we just got done with whatever the hell we were doing in PE. We're dressing out, and this dude comes in. He goes, "Hey, man, those are my friend's shoes. He's he's been looking for those." And my my buddy was like, "Oh, okay, hey, you know, here you get yeah. them back." And then he like dude was like bugging out, like tripping on him and whatever. So, but anyways, he he takes his shoes. Then I want to say the next day, this dude. I can't remember the guy's name, but I, they called him Cowboy something. He was a cowboy, which I thought was funny in Arizona. I was like, you cowboy, how? But anyways, so, and he, I guess he was like supposedly the toughest guy in school. Yeah. That okay. everybody was We'll like, call him fear. Cowboy Bob or something. Yeah, cowboy yeah. Bob. Cow- cowboy Cow- Bob, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> and I remember he walks in and he's hovering over my homie, right? And I just, I just had walked in and he's like hovering over him. And then I had my shirt off and shit. And at the time, like I was like, you know, yoked. Was, oh, oh, big time. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and so, so I walk over. And I was like, hey, man, what's up? You know, he was like, this is the motherfucker that stole my shoes. And I said, the shoes you got back? He was like, yeah, you know, yeah, I got them back, but I wanted to know who took them. I was like, why you want to know who took them if you got them back? He was like, he was like, uh, you know, uh, just because, uh, uh, you know, what do you want to know who took you? I was like, not if I got them back. I was like, here's the thing you're not going to do. 
you see your you see your size and you see his size, you ain't gonna do that. You know, I can't let you do that. You know, yeah. like you gonna have to back off, little homie. You got your shoes back and yeah. everything's good, right? He's like, yeah, you know, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I guess I guess I didn't really think about think of it like <laughs> that. You know, I was like, it's all good. You know, just leave little dude alone. Like. You got your shoes back and, you're, and they're, they're yours again, right? Done. Right, done. Yeah. And then everyone was like, and I didn't know this. And everyone was just like, yo, you just punked the toughest guy in school. All this shit. I can't believe you did that. I was like, that's your tough guy? <laughs> that's your guys' tough guy? And then, and oh, oh, and then prior to that, this kid still writes, this dude still writes to me about it today. This other dude that came up to me and was like, hey, man, this guy, Cowboy Bob, yeah. he keeps picking on me like, can you like say something to him? A different guy. A different, a different guy. guy. Wow. This is what I forgot about that before. Okay. He was like, he was like, can you say something to him? And I was just like, okay, you know. I was like, yeah, just show me what it looks like. But I never knew what it looked like until that situation. And then, so then a few days later, that dude comes up to me. He goes, hey man, I don't know what you did, but Cowboy Bob came up and apologized. <laughs> <laughs> That's dude, such a I'm telling you, name, I'm telling you, it's the weirdest. <laughs> it was like the weirdest thing wow. to me because. The school I went to before, like Mesa, where I grew up in Mesa, it wasn't like hood. It was just really poor. Yeah. Right? And everybody just brought, you brawled. Yeah. You brawled if you needed to. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you settled it right there. It wasn't like, you know, like when I went to the, you know, the other school, the white school, that the like more rich school, it was like, like you guys don't just brawl this out, like, and just like let it go. You know what they I mean? Like chat it you're for a at, while. I was like, you're asking other dudes to protect you, you know what I mean? And no disrespect, I don't mind that. Yeah. I, I live for that. But it was just it was just crazy that their tough guy was a guy that all I had to do was go, hey man, you're not gonna do that. Yeah. Think about that. Yep. Yeah. That's your tough guy. And all, something that all you guys had to do is just go, hey man, I can't let you do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I could do that, well, actually, no, never mind. <laughs> they, were you they, bigger they, than the tight, yeah. or were you the same yeah, yeah, size? Yeah, yeah, okay. No, nah, I was bigger than that. I think it's a sure. little different when you're coming around. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're yeah, right. Now that yeah. I think about it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just didn't expect that from you. Well, it was just like... And neither did Cowboy Bob. Exactly, and, yeah. I, and I was being cool with them. I wasn't even trying to press no. them in a way that was aggressive. I just said, hey, man... You can't do that. You got yeah, the you shoes back. It's not like you, you got punked your shoes back. You yeah. Punk them. You were just and they like, were just like, everybody's like, oh my gosh, bro, do you know what you did? I remember, mm-hmm. I remember everybody's faces right after it happened. Because I was just like, I went back to go like getting dressed again. Yeah. You know, as simple as that. Yeah. And and but meanwhile, and then, like I said, that other dude, he goes, Man, remember that time you got Cowboy Bob to apologize to me and shit? And I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> it was it was so weird. Oh my so God. weird. But like the just cultural difference, you know. But like, but but like I said, I was always like a lone wolf, though. Yeah. And I think it's a I don't good know, thing. What'd you say? It's a good thing. Yeah, and I think I think it just like people just I don't know if they were intimidated by it or just like, you know, because I was very comfortable with being who I like who I am and also being by myself. Like, you know, I wasn't like sad. You know, it wasn't like I'm like oh it's just lone wolf. No, it was sad. It you was, know, it's good about wolves. What? They've never been in the circus. Hey! Oh yeah, they have it. <laughs> yeah, they've never been in the circus. Hey, midgets have. Yeah, we're fucked. Oh, for real? <laughs> Damn, I didn't know they, I didn't know they did Only that certain to y'all. ones. <laughs> <laughs> Only certain ones. That's true. <laughs> I know they the did wolf, that. I've definitely hey, been approached. <laughs> the wolf midget hasn't been in the. In the uh, Is that what you are now? Yeah. Are you, okay. Yeah. Last so, week it was a spicy meatball. Now he's the wolf midget. <laughs> <laughs> the wolf midget. Yeah, I know. I should have got be a. Jealous. It's funny because I have a I have a big ass panther on my chest. I should have got a wolf. Yeah, panther's cool though. Yeah, panther, panther hasn't been cool. in the in the circus either though. No, yeah, they haven't. They haven't. Uh-uh. Only lions, tigers, and bears. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and elephants yeah. and all those. Yeah. So as far as um, let's let's go back to like the comedy. As far as like with, with stand up, like did it take you a while to figure out like your voice and what you wanted to talk about, like being like, sometimes I feel like you're trying to figure were. it out. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it's Comedy's definitely tough. tough. Even like, you know, like I'll have like people are like, damn, you you crush tonight. And I'm I'm still like, nah, I want to do better than that though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I was like, that was good, but I was like, I want to do better than that. You that know? means you're still chasing. You're not you, once once you become comfortable content or oh, yeah, comfortable. Content, yeah. Then your comedy's done. Yeah. If you're still chasing, you're gonna be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I fight for every day, still man. I chase like, it. I and you know my thing is like after a show, I usually, you know, my, my homie uh, gave me a, a space in his office that I could just go in every day and just work on all my 
comedy stuff. So a lot of times after my sets, I'll go to the back to back there and just go over what the hell I just did tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times I'll do that. You know, if it's too late, I you know I don't. But like, but if also if I don't have shows, like I'll go in that office at like nine, and I won't. Sometimes I won't leave till like, you know, twelve thirty at night. You know, just because I'm like just working on everything. I just want to be. I just don't want to suck. Yeah, it, feel, it, feels, it feels good to figure out a joke, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, dude, okay. that's like oh, my God. favorite thing. When like, a joke finally, doesn't, when a joke, when a joke doesn't work, and especially when it like makes sense in your head, yeah. you're like, why doesn't it work? That's my favorite thing oh, to yeah. do. Yeah. Is go, why doesn't it work? Because now it's like now I get to figure out. Now it's like I'm playing this video game. Mm. Yeah. Right. You know, and I like that like. You're getting you know, the codes. Yeah, exactly. Why does that front side flip work for me that way? Mm, and then I was, oh, exactly. shit. Andrew Reynolds does it like that? That looks a little bit more comfortable yeah. for me to do. And so, you know, that, that's how, like, I figure, figure things out, you know? Did yeah. you ever meet any of the Baker guys? I met Andrew Reynolds. Oh, yeah? Uh, I met Antoine Dixon. Antoine uh, Dixon is, is yeah. great, man. Oh, uh, dog. Yeah. He's a, he beast, not, he not he's actually a go, monster on the skateboard. Yeah, he and I actually go to the same barbershop or whatever. Uh, yeah. He's so funny. So there was one time, <laughs> where, uh, where was I at? There was this art show that was going on like downtown, right? And, and me, me and Antoine had seen each other a few times at the barbershop. And, you know, like, you know, uh, everybody says what's up to each other at the barbershop. And so uh, he, he, uh, <laughs> Oh, so I see him at the art show. I said, hey, man, uh, my name's Chappelle. We, we go to the same barbershop, and you know, barbers uh, such and such. And he looks at me, he goes, that ain't me. And then, and then I was like, <laughs> and then he goes, I'm just playing, man. I was like, dog. Oh, he's a joke. I was like, you, of all people, can't do that. <laughs> I was like, you know how, you know, but it was just funny that he, like, did that to me because, I, you know, you know, old Twan, yeah. you know, he, he, you know, he, he was a wild dude, let's yeah. be honest. Oh, but yeah. like, so it's that's, so, what, that's when I knew him. Yeah, yeah. He so that, so I'm dude. sitting here like, and then I do something wrong, you know, like, and, and, and then he was like, man, I'm just fucking with you. I see you all the time, blah, blah, blah. And he was, he was cool about it and shit. But like, it was pretty funny. He is a jokester, though, yeah. you know. Yeah. And I guess one time I was wearing all blue in there and he thought I was a crip of some, some sort. I was like, oh, no, I'm, I was a cheerleader. <laughs> I'm far from a crip. <laughs> No Leave it Oh, damn, that's tight. Yeah. We yeah. can change it up. Yeah. It's throwing things off just like Poncho's cell phone. I thought yeah. you were a pro, dude. A little, little revolution. Yeah. I like that one. Gonna have to, I'm trying to think uh, who else I met from. Trim the pay for that mistake. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. We're not. I'm trying to think who else I met. <laughs> What's that? I'm trying to think um, who else I met. I got a question I thought of. So I've seen you do comedy at a small little skate you shop. You have. Yeah. But then I was curious, what's the biggest audience you've ever had? What's the biggest venue and biggest audience you've ever had? Shit. Oh, I did this, uh, I did this festival, Sonic Temple Festival in Columbus, Ohio. The big rock festival, who headlined it? It was like, um, who headlined that shit? System of a Down. Oh damn! Uh, fuck it was Foo Tool. Fighters. Oh yeah, Foo Fighters, uh, and I think Disturbed one night or whatever. Okay. I can't remember. That's a big. Uh, that's a big lineup. Big lineup, right? Uh huh. And I, uh, my manager at the time got me this gig because uh, he knew I was a big Henry Rollins geek. Okay. And Henry Rollins was in the the spoken word slash comedy tent, mm. and so he got me booked on the day that Rollins was performing. Right, no, and way. it was R Rollins, uh, Nadia from Pussy Riot, and uh, Tom Morello. Right, oh, damn. And so, uh, I was the only like traditional comic on the show, and uh, I think, dude, the room was like jam packed, right? And uh, I remember me and Rollins shared, uh, we were sweet mates in our trailers, okay, or whatever, and it was just like crazy because I'm a big Rollins, nerd. I'm a big Henry fan, and so, too. uh, <laughs> uh, so then you know, I see Rollins, and you know, we're talking backstage, I couldn't even believe it. He was like, A lot of people are gonna show up, watch, and I was like, What for real? He goes, Yep, he goes, You gotta realize people get tired of the you know, the distortion, so they want to like a break, you know, they want their ears to have a break from that distortion. He goes, a lot of people are going to show up. Because what, what they said fit in the tent was only like 
I think like 500 or whatever, something okay. like that. Or I can't remember. 500, is, I think, is all they were going to like allow. Okay. But the tent was huge. Yeah. Bro, it was like 1,500 people in there. Damn. Oh, damn. Yeah. And what it was like, 10, that was the biggest. 15 minutes? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah, nice. did 20 minutes. And, t- and I'm like, on the side, of, like, on the, like, I'm looking to the left of me, and Tom Morello's just like watching me, like laughing. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, and then that, that's probably the biggest. I've done, or and, what, and and then you said Rollins went and did spoken word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that pretty rad? To, to oh hell yeah! Because I've seen I've seen him speak like four okay. or five times. Okay, I always go see him speak. He does spoken word instead of like comedy. Like, okay. but yeah. it's but like but he has spoke, jokes within it. It's funny. Dude. Yeah, yeah, he I has bet. a lot of. He's got like he's got some good humor. He, his best was when he met um, who who uh, the which drag one? queen. Oh, uh, RuPaul? RuPaul. RuPaul, yeah. So he met RuPaul. RuPaul's fanning out on him. He's fanning out on RuPaul. Because RuPaul used to have a punk band. Yeah. And RuPaul invites him to judge a drag queen contest. Yes. He does it, and he's like the sternest guy. Like, no, you're fucking heels. You didn't even get your nails done and shit. (laughs) And everybody's like, Henry Rollins is like throwing these drag queens under the bus. (laughs) So then he goes... The best part is, like, people are saying that I'm hanging out with RuPaul now. And so he's thinking of, like, this Midwest kid that's like, uh-oh, Henry's changed. I can't listen. I'm, I'm going to have to rethink this Black Flag record that I'm listening to and stuff. It's like, but he's spoken word telling this, and you're dying laughing. Yeah, he's got some funny stories. Because the shit's funny, dude. It's hilarious. Yeah. He's great, man. He is. I mean, he's the the reason why, like, I got comfortable with being a lone wolf. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, like, it just, you know, a lot of punk punk songs in general just help, help me, like, be comfortable with, like, who I am. Be you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was different because, like, you know, before I got into like punk and stuff like that, I was listening to like a lot of new metal. Like like I love corn. Like corn yeah. is like, you know, one of my top favorites. And and I connected with them, especially with the singer Jonathan Davis, because of like he was so vulnerable and talked about his childhood in these songs and like and it was so dark. And I was like, dog, this is this is like what I'm feeling. This is like what I'm going through. And like but like the punk but punk was like, all right, here's what you're gonna do about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's more aggressive. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Hunk was like, that's how I took it. You know what I mean? That so You took it all, the right way. Yeah. That's all the like all the like yeah. corn and all that stuff like helped me understand, like, hey, th- this is what you're going through. And the punk was like, All right, here's what you're gonna do about it. Mm. Yeah. And then dude, when I heard Rise Above, Black Flag Rise Above and Minor Threat uh stand up and the like at the at the end of the Minor Threat stand up, they they go, stand up. Stand up and be counted. And when I heard that, I was like, "Fuck yeah, it's on!" And it just, and it, dude, it just, it was, it was a rap for me. It's a, it was a fucking rap for me hearing that, and then you know, hearing that rise above, rise above, and I was like, "Wow!" I was like, "This music that has this like, this aggression that it match that matches my aggression is saying like, stand up and be counted." And hearing that was like, like I said, it was the fucking rap for me. Mm. And it was, it was like, all right, here it goes. And then, honestly, I started standing up to my stepfather. I was like, I'm not scared of you. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, you don't fucking go ahead. You know, there was one time. <laughs> I'll give you. He won't I, be listening. No, no. <laughs> he knows the story. <laughs> um, so there's one time I came home from like skating with some homies and shit, right? And uh, they. <laughs> My stepfather, he he said I came home late when I. Anyways, whatever. Yeah. They, 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 you know, I was getting, I was getting grilled by my mom, and my stepfather was like to the side right here, you know, standing there. And so my mom's like, you know, like yelling at me, right? And then my my stepfather came up, uh, he he punched me in the face, right? What? And I ate that shit. I ate that shit. I was like, like that, right? And I and and like he busted my lip, and I remember I stood up and I fucking. Hit my head against the closet. I said, "Do it again. Said, Do it again." I was like, "I got it. Do it again." Damn. And that and that, and that day, were you bigger than him? No. Same size, guy. or was he a little bigger? 
He was bigger than me. Oh, damn. He was bigger okay. than me. But you weren't full. But then as I yet. got older, I was like, bro, you've been five, six this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro, let's run it back. <laughs> I'm five eleven. <laughs> bro, let's run it. Yeah. You know, it's and, on. And, and, and yeah, like, you know, th that shit happened, you know, and I like I said, I stood up and I was just like, Doosh, just hit my head on there. I was like, do it again. I was like, I want nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You could knock me out. Let's go. Let's so go. You, you, know know. you and your stepfather didn't get along, or you did get along? <laughs> didn't get along? I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> no, well, they adopted you. And then... No, 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 no. No, my stepfather didn't adopt me. No, I was step. So, stepfather, biological folks. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right? I was confused. So, was so, like... so, my stepfather, so I got three dads oh, okay. and two moms. So, originally, mom and, uh, mom and uh, stepfather, right? That's yes. who I was with first. Then adopted into the white family. Uh -huh. Okay, those are the second parents. And then reconnected with biological father like seven years ago. Wow. So that's how, like, sorry, I guess I should have explained that. Full circle. Yeah, full yeah, 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 like, yeah. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how, mm. you know, that happened. But Got me it. and my stepfather, you know, the coolest thing is, like, I think the coolest thing about my situation with my stepfather is, like, we went through the craziest shit, right? The mm. craziest shit together. But we're cool now. Like, dude, he, I, and it's crazy. And it's all because I was, I just started being cool with him. I didn't need an apology. I don't need any of this shit. Yeah. Um, the, the man, you know, when, when I was born, that man, that man was uh, 16. Or sorry, uh, he just had turned, because our birthday is only like a week or so apart. He oh, just had dang. turned 17. So he was 16 longer than he kid, was. Though. He was a kid, bro. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, a kid. Yeah. What, what the hell, like. What is he gonna know? Yeah. So once I understood all that, and just because I started asking my mom all these questions about him, they're not together no more. But I just started asking her all these questions. I was like, "Oh, this all makes sense." I'm not saying it's right what he did, but no, I was like, "But you know where he was." I know where he was. As a man, you understand. You yeah, know, like, huh. yeah. And so yeah. then, with that being said, like, like we're cool, and also, yeah, I got no, I got no bad blood for him like that. Like it's, it'd be weird if I did. What do you like? I yeah. like the fact that we're cool. Yeah. Bro, he, bro I don't think he, he texted me this year on my birthday, right? Mm -hmm. He te and, and I can't remember the last time that man said happy birthday to me. And it was crazy. It this year? Yep. Attaboy. Yep. Attaboy. It's crazy. Wow. And even if that is his apology, whatever, like, that's yeah. cool. But, like, but that, that, that meant more to me than him going, like, hey, I'm sorry for what I did, man. I don't, I don't give a fuck about that. Is I don't care ever, about that. Has he ever seen your comedy? Uh, has, he ever come, has he? Come to a show. You nah, know he I mean? ain't seen, no, because he would know about the joke. He's never been to the show. I like the frisbee uh, joke. Oh, you like the frisbee joke? People love, love the frisbee joke. joke. Yeah. What's the frisbee joke? joke? Uh, I talk about how I went to Vermont and you told uh, it at the skate shop. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Doing yeah. the just the behavior of it, the physicality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Catch it well, because it was just so weird watching people two, play frisbee. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, that's real. Fris Frisbee is funny, dude. Yeah, dude, dude think about it. Like, because I, I like to walk around cities yeah. when I go there, you yeah. know? And so I'm walking around, and I just see people in the, in the grassy field, beautiful park, beautiful Vermont. Yeah. And they're just fucking. <laughs> and I was like, why? <laughs> I was like, what happens here to compel you guys to go? Hey, let's get the frisbee and go uh, go to the park. What, I'm do you, like, what? what do you get out of this? Yeah, you know what do you what get I mean? out of this? Like, it's not a that's workout. Why I say, that's why I say it's not a workout. Yeah, that's why I say I said no one wins or loses. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. No one wins or loses. It's not a workout. Yeah. Just, just killing time. Just killing time. Just yeah. killing time. But hey, let them have it. But it, it was weird to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's funny. <laughs> Craziest situation you've ever been in while being on. While being a comedian, being out on tour, because oh I, I, I have some, I have gonna... some crazy stories like being on skate tours and stuff. But yeah. as a comedian, being as out comedian? on tour, yeah. I almost got in a fight on stage. For what? What Hackler? happened? Hackler? Like, yeah, uh, these these kids. The, uh, this was in Virginia. These kids, they were like drunk. Okay. They were they were young too. Yeah, they looked like they just had turned twenty one. Oh, actually, they did because security told me after the fact. But these kids were like drunk, and they were they were cheersing each other. They thought they were treating it like a bar. Okay, right. And so the crowd was getting annoyed. It was yeah. a packed show, you know. With them, the crowd was getting annoyed yep, with them. They were okay. getting annoyed with them, All and right. like no one was, and like security wasn't doing anything about it, or whatever. And I was just like, bro, someone's got to do something. But they had a, they had a bucket of beer on stage, 
So I was just like, I took it. And I was like, you guys can't get this back until I'm done with my set. Mm -hmm. And everybody started clapping. And then they started laughing, right? They were, you know, they were having fun with it. They were laughing. And, uh, and then, you know, then all of a sudden, one of the dudes was like flipping me off. And he was holding it strongly, right? And I said, dog, are you flipping me off? And he said, yeah. I said, dog, I will kick your fucking chest in. And then he goes, I'll beat your ass. Dude was small. Wow. Dude was small. The liquid courage in him. The liquid <laughs> courage in him to fucking go. Um, and, and, bro, he was, some, he was front row. So I was like. Oh, this was happening with people in the front row. He like took their, their beers off yeah, oh, the yeah. stage. Because yeah. they were okay. their, their, their table was touching the stage. Like, that's how close they were. Mm. So I was like, well, you got every opportunity. You Come know? on up. Come on up. And he, I was like, you know, I was like, you, you bring your boys too, you know. I wasn't scared of these little kids, <laughs> you know. But then at the same time, I'm like, I'm like Chappelle, you can't beat up these fucking. Yeah, you, you can. Know? Was, yeah, I can. <laughs> but it was like, you know how crazy you would look, yeah. just beating up these drunk, kid, like you know, it, it, like I could do it, but it, it would be stupid. But meanwhile, the other kids weren't trying to do anything, yeah. Yeah. you know. But he, the, this dude was or whatever. Okay. It took them forever, and they, you know, they ended up like. You know, finally security like did something, and you know they kicked him out or whatever. But like, it, you know, I gave the dude props for like trying to. I was like, hey, you know, you stood nice up effort. to me. Nice and he effort. was he was a little dude. He was. I'm trying to think of someone who who he was the size of. Uh, Kevin Hart. That man right here. Yeah. Kevin Hart. Uh, Kevin Hart. Yeah. yeah let's Kevin say Hart. Kevin Hart. Yeah. Kevin he was Hart a little dude. He was, yeah, he was a little dude, and he wasn't even from that area. He was from like some country bumpkin yeah. area. Area. You know, he just. He, he had that liquid courage, but it was just funny watching this little dude because everybody was like, is this guy serious? <laughs> <laughs> He'll beat his ass, you know. And, I bet you there was people in the back like, yeah. oh, And the thing about me is like, I, I chill with the mic stand, right? Yeah. So a lot of times I like loosen it up a little bit, you know, <laughs> just like, you know, like I put my foot on that, yeah. that, that thick part and just loosen it up a little oh, bit. Oh, because then it pulls out that little piece that's yeah, just the like, top part. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wacky with this fucking... This mic stand, homie. Yeah, but that's probably like the craziest, you know. Okay. But otherwise, I don't really get like. No. I there's no too, way. Lover boy can't. Yeah, and but I, I mean, and like I bring in good energy, good vibes. I'm not, you know, and I'm good at like de-escalating situations. But it was the fact that, you know, he was the way he was flipping me off that I just felt it. I was just like. You're holding it just. Like yeah, a I was like, oh, you trying to be the bully? Like, you're like, yeah, what the fuck? yeah. If you would have just flipped me off, cool. But you're holding it. Holding it. Oh. Holding oh. it. Holding it. Yeah, like a like asshole. like I'm making a statement. Yeah. Making sure you see it. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah. bro, I could just <laughs> 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 the reach I have to your chest. That's why I said I'll okay, kick his chest in. Chest. You know, I was like, hey, bro. I mean, press is press. Press is press. press I know. Right? <laughs> but then you'll get those dudes that want to come to the show. Like then they're, the that, they're like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna step to him. Mm. Then I'm going to come to the show to step to yeah, him. Yeah, like, turn to that. That's why I was like, you know what? Really, you're all about good energy, good vibes. Don't do that. Don't let these people get to you. you know? Do you do you uh, do you do a lot of crowd work when you're when when you're doing stand -up? not strongly? I not strongly. I, I'm starting to do it like less and less. Yeah. Um, I feel and also like, I don't really get like heckled a lot. Yeah. You know, and if I do get heckled, I'm pretty quick about like. Steering it and keeping it, because I want like like almost I like the jokes I write. It. Yeah, redirecting you know I mean? it to like yeah. good joke. <laughs> but also, I don't mind crowd work. Yeah. you know, like it, it it's part of comedy. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Like it's fun, but also like I do love sticking to the jokes. Yeah, absolutely. I I, love I, I feel the same way. I've been kind of like testing the waters with crowd work, but it's yeah. not like. It's not like me yeah. going, hey, so how long have you guys been married? Yeah, it's yeah. more like if someone says something, be like, oh, you, you, you know what I'm talking exactly. about. Exactly, like, yeah, yeah. Or like you're laughing a little too hard at that. Yeah, you know, yeah. The other people, yeah. you know, you, getting into it like that and then going way. back to the joke. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, I don't try to go, like, yeah, you know. But, it, but, it, but my favorite thing to do is if I'm like, uh, like a, a town that's predominantly white, I love asking the black people, How'd you get here? <laughs> <laughs> that's why. That's my favorite thing to do. Uh, How'd you get here? <laughs> They're like, oh, we drove here. I go, no, 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 no. not to this club. <laughs> How'd this, you town. Here? this town. How'd you get to this? Because sometimes you, they'll send you <laughs> to some of these towns. We're like, <laughs> yeah, man. well, hey, Chappelle, it was, it was great having you on. No, the show. this was fun, you, man. man. I'll come um, back anytime. Yeah. Before man. you go, though, do you do bringer shows? Nah. 
Just making sure. Stop looking Jeez. at me when you. When you <laughs> I just love checking, you. dude. I was uh, just. Yeah, checking. I love you. Just. Bro, checking. you ain't never got to do them shows, bro. <laughs> I, 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 I have to, unfortunately. <laughs> like, Trust me. Well, I, I don't get booked unless I do that. We're trying know? to get you booked, dude. Yeah. What do you think we're doing? That's why we're helping you, dude. Bring me on the road with you, man. How, how about this? Uh, <laughs> He's like, no. I already, I already booked the lineup or whatever, but. Uh, once, I'm headlining Ontario Improv, mm -hmm. uh, the Ontario in the United States, yes. in California. <laughs> not Canada, not uh, Ontario. You're you like, want, if you can make yourself make yeah, your way to Canada, you, yeah, I'll you, put you on for I five mean, minutes. It's a stretch of a way, but yeah. if you want to come do a guest spot. I would love to. Yeah? Yes. It's like it's in April. Yes. April 10th. Or yes, whatever. and yeah. then you'll come to it. I'll come. It's kind of by me. Yeah. I'll oh, yeah. Gonna, yeah, you're close to Mesa. Yeah. Yeah, I'll come by. I'll that, see dude, you. thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't fucking bring a show. Hey, fuck and thanks it. for coming out, dude. Yeah. yeah man, it was fuck great. Yeah. We, had a, we had a blast. Skating, comedy. Yeah, cheerleading. Cheerleading. Love dude. albums. Love, love, love Lover Boy. <laughs> Do you still Punk have rock. the Loverboy album? Do you still have it? Uh, no, I actually no, I got it back from her. <laughs> Actually, I think it's at my parents' house. It I is. think it's at my parents' house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he said it is. It is. It is. <laughs> Your mom has it tucked away on the shelf. It's yeah, good. It's you good. wrote this album? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't remember that, Mom. <laughs> well, Stop yeah. embarrassing me, Mom. Right? You seriously. <laughs> I'm 37. <laughs> well, thanks, Chappelle. Yeah, no, thank thanks you. for it's having good. me. Yeah, I appreciate it.